How's the day going? I hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for clicking on this reaction. My name is Adrian Rock DJ. I'm a Kenyan rock DJ, professional rock DJ here in Kenya for about 10 years. I've been asked to check out Feast and Bounty because it has Swahili lyrics. I don't know if I've heard this one. Maybe I have. I'm not sure. Um, the Swahili lyrics I can see are down here. I haven't read them yet because I want to listen. I want to listen while reading the lyrics. Okay, so for more Genshin, make sure to smash like and subscribe. Let's go. I don't think I've heard this one. Have I heard this one? I'm not sure. Okay, okay, I, I've heard it, 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 I'm pretty sure I've heard it. I'm pretty sure I've heard it. I've reviewed so many of these things from the channel Natlandi looks, so... Oh, uh, yeah. Listen to that, what do you call this? Degree do's, or what do you call that? that sound, what do you call that? Wait, oh, wait, 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 the lyrics have already started. It didn't sound like it had started. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, it, you know, it, it always reminds me of like um, the Lion King intro. People just sing their own things. I'm sure that intro is in like Zulu or something, yeah? But people just sing, they don't even know what they're singing. Okay, Ardhie to Yakale, Ardhie to Yens. Yes, it translates here to Ardhie to Yakale. Yeah, our land of old, our land of age. Ardhie to Yens. Ardhie to Yens sounds more like our historical land. So here it's our land of age. Yeah, I don't expect non Swahili speakers to translate everything directly, properly, but I get what they were trying to say. Yeah. But here, the singer's voice is so drained by the instruments, you couldn't hear properly. It's a, you, you, you keep hearing someone saying, Karamu, Karamu. Here it translates to a feast. Yeah, probably, probably. Some words in Swahili, we as Swahili speakers don't use them often. So, Karamu, Karamu sounds like something I would write in my composition. So, probably it does mean feast, probably. Watch, watch, watcha means uh, just leave it be, you know. But the way it's used here, it's like in the background, like some ad libbed background vocals. Ushindi wa Heshima translates to uh, victory of glory. Yes, Heshima should be respect, but here in, the, in this context, it's glory. Yes, so that's correct. This is definitely the Natlan guy. The guy who opens Natlan. This is definitely him. I'm sure. Karamu sounds more like celebration, not even feast. But it's the same thing. Synonyms. Wanate <laughs> kanyara. Okay, if you're, if you're Kenyan or you're Swahili speaker, Wanate kanyara sounds more like they kidnap. Kutekwanyara. <laughs> Kutekwanyara means to get kidnapped. But here it's used as they shall take the bounty. 
ah, they are singing, so how do you phrase it properly? You know, they shall take the bounty. Wachachukua malipo ya, ya kazi. <laughs> okay, also kazi, me I'm using kazi wrongly because kazi is work. They shall take the bounty. Bounty is when you put a price on someone's head, right? So they shall take the bounty. Wachachukua pesa ya alie tako. Wanateka nyara is when I take Anyara translated directly is they kidnap. Mm. And a man in Bele means much straightforward, something like that. Shuja, Wanja, that is soldier and field. So um, I get what they are trying to say, but it's a bit disjointed. So here it translates to follow our hero forward into the battle. Ah, singing, singing in Swahili is so tricky because uh, they break every... The way the song is written, it breaks so many grammar rules, but they are singing, so I have to be lenient about it. Follow our hero forward into, into the battlefield would be something like Fuata shuja tuandameni wanjani. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, fuata shuja. Directly translated would be fuata shuja tuandameni wanjani. Tuandameni wanjani kwa vita. Something like that. Can someone just tell me what that instrument is? Is it a degree do or something? Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. This one is a short one. This one is like what? One and a half minutes. So, mm, actually, I was very surprised when the song started, and then I was like, Allah, the lyrics have already started. <laughs> I think after this, I'm going to go Google what um, karamu means. Karamu. Karamu. Oh, karamu. Some words, we don't use them a lot in Swahili unless you're writing like a composition in class to impress your teacher. So the word karam is rarely used. Ay, have I even heard anyone use that word in like the last 10 years when I'm speaking to anyone? Mm -hmm. Then the other thing is here in Kenya, youngins, we speak sheng. So sheng is a combination of English and Swahili words. So whatever I don't know in Swahili, I just replace it with English words, you know. Yeah, nobody says that, he, you know, like my mom calls toothpick uh, miti ameno. <laughs> if you're a Swahili person, you know why that's funny. Miti is trees, but she's using it as like wood, wood. You know, miti ameno. So, <laughs> so someone will just say, ah, nipe toothpicks. <laughs> you know, nipe toothpicks. Give me the toothpicks. <laughs> anyway, we've enjoyed my reaction. We should smash like and subscribe. I've reacted to other Swahili songs from Natlan. I'll leave them here in the comments. Uh, make sure to check out my, my one hour gameplay of my first time in Atlanta. I'll leave it in the comments or on screen. I'll see you in the next one.